I will solve some more problems on relations and functions now, which are usually asked in the examination. In a set Z of all integers, Z, set of all integers, relation R is defined as set of all order pairs X, Y, such that X plus phi Y is divisible by 6. Usually, one question is asked this type, divisible by an all in Z. So, same method for all. Show that it is an equivalence relation. <coughs> so, we have to prove it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. For reflexive, here I cannot write actual numbers here because divisible by 6 there will be so many pairs, no infinite number of pairs will be there. So, I cannot write those. So, general proof will give. For reflexive always x comma x must belong to R, no, for every x. So, we replace y by x. So, in this if I replace y by x here, x plus 5x is equal to 6x and it is divisible by x 6. 6x is divisible by 6 for every x from z. For every integer it is true. And therefore, instead of y here x is there, therefore x comma x belongs to r for every x from z. This is the notation for every. And therefore, r is reflexive. Now for symmetric, there is particular method. Now for reflexive you put y is equals to x and prove symmetric you suppose x y belongs to r and prove y x belongs to r that is symmetric x y belongs to r therefore by this definition x plus phi y is divisible by 6 and therefore x plus phi y will be equals to 6 into k1 where k1 belongs to some k1 from integer z it should not be fraction here it must be integer then only it is divisible by 6 no now, I want to interchange x and y here. So, y if I interchange as x, x and x if I interchange as y, this will become 5x plus y. Now, this, this is 5x plus y. Usually, we write it as if it is divisible by 6, 6 into bracket x plus y. For every problem, it will be same. 6 into bracket x plus y minus this number. Minus what is given, this is number. If you want, you can check it here. 6x minus x is 5x and 6y minus 5y is y. So, what I have written, it is correct. Now, what happens? This is 6 into bracket x plus y and this already we have sub we have assumed that it is equal to 6k1. So, I will substitute for this 6k1. 6 I will take common here. And therefore, because these are all integers, this also will be integer. Therefore, 5x plus y is divisible by 6. I think now you understood. We are interchanging x and y. If it is divisible by 6, we write 6 into bracket x plus y minus we write this. After writing this, you please check whatever it is correct or not. So, 5x plus y, that is y plus 5x. y plus 5x is divisible by 6. Therefore, y comma x belongs to r. Therefore, r is symmetric. Now, transitive for transitive always x comma y and y comma z belongs to r. We have to take where this is common and I want to prove xz belongs to r. Now, by the meaning of this x plus 5y and y plus 5z are divisible by 6 and therefore this term will be equal to 6k1. This will be equal to 6k2 where k1 and k2 are some integers. Same method for all the problems. You add this and this so, what you will get x plus 5y plus y plus 5z is equal to 6k1 plus 6k2. Now, if I add 5y plus y, it will become 6y, remaining terms as it is. Now, 6y, I will shift this side. So, x plus 5z will be equal to 6k1 plus 6k2 minus 6y. 6, I will take common, you will get this. Because all these are integers, this complete will be an integer. Therefore, this is divisible by 6. And therefore, xz belongs to R. And therefore, R is transitive. Because it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, it is an equivalence relation. Next problem. In a set z of all integers, relation R is defined as R is equal to x, y, where x plus y is divisible by 2. Sometimes it is called as divisible by 2 or even number. Both means same. Any number which is divisible by 2 is always even number. Show that R is an equivalence relation. As usual, I told you last time we have to replace y by x. If you replace here y by x, it will become 2x and it is divisible by 2 for every x from z. 
therefore x comma x belongs to z for every this is notation for every x from z therefore r is reflexive same method x y belonging to r i will take therefore x plus y is equals to 2k now here no need to take that x plus y is y plus x is equals to 2 times that one it is not necessary because x plus y is 2k y plus x also will be 2k and therefore this is divisible by 2 so y x y comma x belongs to r therefore we have proved here x comma y belongs to r implies y comma x belongs to r therefore it is symmetric defined by definition of symmetric for transitive always we have to take such type of paper this belongs to r therefore x plus y and y plus z are divisible by 2 therefore each one will be 2 into k1 2 into k2 where k1 and k2 are some integers same method will add this and this is equals to 2 k1 plus 2 k2 so x plus 2 y plus z is equals to 2 k1 plus 2 k2 2 2 y I will shift this side so x plus z is equals to 2 k1 plus 2 k2 minus 2 y that is equal to 2 into bracket k1 plus k2 minus y therefore x plus z is 2 into some integer these are all integers so this will be integer we are not dividing by anything so it will be integer only so it is divisible by 2 therefore x comma z belongs to r therefore r is transitive it is reflexive symmetric and transitive therefore it is an equivalence relation similar types of problems you can try and see what in your college teacher is taking and according to that you study now i'll define new things domain and range of relation domain let r be the relation from set a to set b then the set of all first first of all set of all first coordinates set of all first coordinates of an ordered pair is called domain of r and it is denoted as d into bracket r see here set of all first coordinates of an order pair is called order pairs is called domain and set of all second coordinates of an order pairs is called this set is called range range of r relation r i'll take this example a is this b is this relation from a to b i will take any subset of a cross b i'll take a subset like this you can take any one then the set of all first elements is domain so here first element is repeated twice but in set we write element once as i told you so domain will be one and range is the second elements it is like this so this i have taken two sets to show you i am taking another one with same example same one set only 1 2 3 is there a and we will find out relation in a means it will be sub, sub, subset of a cross a relation r in a is i will take one relation that like that number of relations will be there i will take particularly this then set of all first elements is called domain so here domain is 1 and 2 and range of r is 1 2 3 second elements that is range another definition is empty relation relation is a subset of a cross b and you know empty set is a subset of every set so empty subset of a cross b is called empty relation universal set means a cross b is also a subset of a cross b no that entire set a cross b set of all order pairs will be a subset so that r or r from a cross a if only one set is there is called an universal relation from a to b or in a this is called if it is like this it is from a to b it is in a we call it and next time i will start functions